Next up on Joe's Home Garage, we're doing door jams. Um, so, yeah, the car, this car was originally a black notchback. Um, it's an 88, so I'm assuming it had gray interior. Um, it's black now, but the car, I've talked about this in videos before, the car was painted right before I bought it really quickly um, in a gloss black or black base coat, gloss clear over top real quick, um, barely any prep work done. They painted right over the trim, everything. I'm kind of working my way backwards uh, just because I want to get this car back on the road and enjoy it. Um, the car, I guess, had someone either had gutted the doors to make them lighter, which was probably not a bad idea because the doors are heavy. Like, I couldn't believe how heavy they were. Um, it's been a long time since <laughs> I've taken a door off a car. Um, but they, or they had put aluminum doors and got rid of the old doors. I don't, I don't know what the deal was, but <clears throat> the guy who before me got rid of those picked up a set of used doors which were gray off a gray car um i guess yeah you can kind of see it in the light um and so since i've got the car that's kind of bugged me that of course it bugged me that the trim was all gloss black um after watching videos on how they're supposed to look and i kind of like the offset of a a gloss black and a, and a satin black. Um, I'm thinking about doing a cow hood and doing a, like a, a side stripe of um, gloss or a satin black against a gloss. But for now, we're going to paint all this um, with single stage Speedo Coat. Um, Speedo coat jet black. Um, I've done this before. I used this on another vehicle and it's gloss black. Like, I don't, I'm still new to painting, so I can understand the whole base coat, clear coat, getting a real shiny finish. But this Speedo coat single stage black and the Nardo gray is glossy. Like, I, it's glossy enough for me. So, with being a beginner painter, or novice painter, my plan is, you know what, if I have to, I put five coats of paint, ten coats, like, does it matter? Um, if I mess up, I have dirt nibs or swirls or, or um, you know, runs or whatever, I can sand them and buff them out. Um, I don't have to worry about burning through the clear coat. Yeah, I gotta worry about burning through the paint, but if I put extra coats on, I should be good. And when, if I need to repaint something or like I plan on adding side skirts, um, possibly doing a detch kit or, um, I'm thinking about doing, leaving the saline temporarily, leaving the saline, um, rear bumper and doing the spoiler, the, I don't know what they call it. The Cobra spoiler. Maybe it's like a four post or has four posts because of the holes in the trunk lid it gives me excuse not to weld them up and have to redo the whole trunk um and then the side skirts you know like would kind of fit with the the saline kit and then a maybe a lower front splitter or something um with the cow hood but so i got everything prepped up taped up i love how ford um did their doors in a two-tone to make it very simple for you to paint um, they from what I can tell from watching everybody's videos and looking at my parts car they did the body in the paint color of the car and then they did this piece from here up to here in like the, the trim black which matches the trim on the windows and the doors and then they did the same thing. Um, I'm just giving an overview of what we've got going on right now. Um, it's funny. They had one gauge up on the on a pillar pod 
So I guess they drilled a hole through the outside of the car to put the pillar or put the pod, the wire through. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I spent all yesterday and today getting the tops of the doors. They have a, a line right here. From here up is trim black, both sides. And then the rest of the doors should be black, cars black. Um, although these, you know, like you can't even really see all this because a lot of it's covered by the, the door cards. But this is gray and it's kind of drove me nuts. I just, I want everything to match. Um, although I do have an idea and if anybody has comments, let me know. Um, I love gloss black cars until I buy one. I've done it numerous times and then every time I get one I'm like every little ding dust nib I mean everybody knows this you know every little scratch whatever just shows up and it's like on the trunk lid like everything. So I'm going to end up possibly repaint or repaint the car not possibly eventually repaint the car and then, so right now I'm trying to get it all back together, put all the trim back on, paint and trim black. And then when I do, maybe drive it for the year, for the summer. And then when I do decide to tear it down and do a, uh, a repaint on it, uh, I'm thinking a uh, gun, like a gunmetal gray or they call it a wolf gray. Um, seeing that I have a gallon of speedo coat gloss black and a gallon like three quarters of a gallon of speedo coat nardo gray i can make my own color so i don't want it to be nardo gray and match my girlfriend's honda um but maybe a dark 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 gray where it looks almost black but you can tell it's gray and but leave all the jams and everything black so and, and i i that's one thing I've always kind of thought of. And like when you paint a car, if you don't do, if you paint a car blue and the car was red, when you open the doors, you see red door jams, look, looks like crap. But if you have a black car, like I had a black 06 GTO, I did, I plasti dipped it white. When you open the doors, you see black. So it, it just matches. So I could paint this car blue, red, pink, orange, green, whatever and you open the door and you see in the nice black you know gloss black inside gloss black or whatever under the hood so that's kind of what i'm thinking but let me know or stay original and, and stick with gloss black but this is where we're at right now it's saturday like four o'clock i was gonna paint it today uh, i just went down the floor and, and cleaned the floor a little, as best i could but i'm beat I'm beat. I've been out here for two days, so uh, I think I'm going to take a break, come out, spray this in the morning, and call it a day. So, I'm out. Okay, I guess I'm not done yet. Uh, it's been three or four hours since um, the uh, paint since the paint's dried and I've pulled the tape off and all the paper and everything. Um, actually... It, came out a lot better than I expected. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's like, tell me that's not gloss black. It's right out of the gun, no polishing, none of that. And, you know, honestly, I, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I've watched, you know, a bunch of videos and I'm learning a little bit. Um, and these are, you know, just doors. I didn't primer them. Um, just scuffed them up with Scotch-Brite and sprayed them. So most of the stuff gets covered with trim and rubber and all that stuff. But so this is what I was talking about with the, the line. This would be the, the paint color of the car. And then it flips to this because you have trim, rubber that goes in here. And then a piece of trim on the outside. So you only see a little tiny bit of this same, like on the, on the outside, you'll see it. But 
So yeah, this is what the door looked like dried. Um, started clean. I cleaned up my rubber grommets and everything to try to make it look a little better. I didn't bother painting the door panel black, having to tape off all this stuff and try to keep the glass from getting painted and doing all that stuff just because, I mean, the, the door... The door panels are going to go right over top of it, but it looks like the, you know, the, the SEM paint, the SEM trim paint, um, is awesome. Like, I love it. This satin color, um, I don't know how easy it is to, to see in the video, but that satin paint just looks great. And then of course the Speedo coat, like I'm really glad I found Speedo Coat products and stumbled upon Marco's uh, from Speedo Coat's uh, YouTube channel and have become friends because um, he's helped me through a lot of this stuff. Um, and I'm, I, I still got a lot to learn, so hopefully we'll be doing some stuff together in the future. But this is uh, just, yeah, just spraying it in there with the uh one it was a 1.4 tip on the um uh harbor freight gun and did it's funny because he like said this the fender is you know gloss black um base coat clear coat and then I did black, you know, the Speedo Coat gloss black. Um, definitely the edges and stuff could have turned out a little bit better. There's, I don't know if it's the material or what, but I am going to said I am going to end up putting side skirts on, which will cover, I believe, this ledge. Um, this ledge came out really nice. So I'm thinking it was whatever whatever was on here. Um, but at least now when you look in the car, this is all nice and gloss black. And then said they did this here where this, just this little strip is satin or trim black. So the quarter window you know, goes in the trim of the quarter window comes up to like right here. And then when your door closes, the trim all around the door comes up to here. So you got this one little strip. And if it, it would be, if your car was red, you'd have a red stripe there. Um, I've seen a few, few videos of people's cars and cars that were built and done where I'm guessing the door gap wasn't perfect. So up top, because you got a piece of trim that runs along up here and then your door trim, but you could see like blue, the blue paint through the top. Luckily with this car being black kind of fixes that. But, um, said so now this is the, the paint that was on the car and this is the new paint. Um, you can see the line where the, quarter windows were but this is I'm gonna once I'm done everything I'm gonna buff and polish all this said so the car is filthy like filthy dirty and I was gonna blow everything off before I did it but before I painted it and taped it but I was like the more d dust I disturb the worse this is gonna be so let me just leave it the way it is but um, it, it, for what I was trying to accomplish, I, I think it worked. Um, I just wanted to get black paint in here rather than faded out old, old paint, but it's, uh, it's coming together. We're getting there. Um, I guess I left the paper towel up in there. That was, I started putting the, the rubber back on, um, which... I'm going to have to go around because they painted the car with the rubber on. But, of course, these pillar pods, which I really like, but they're a real pain in the ass to get on and off because it goes over top of the other the other pillar um, 
to get this piece of rubber back in. Like, I had to take all this back apart. Um, but, yeah, that's about uh, where we are now. There's only one sticker left on the car. I don't know what it's supposed to say. Calibration, something. But, eventually, another thing I want to do is, since the doors aren't from the car, I don't know if this... Now, I know that this hood wasn't on the car, which, I'm like I said, I'm going to do a cow hood anyway. I'm like, there's a couple dings in this hood, which I'm sure I could fix or get out, but I just love the, you know, like a little three-inch cow. Um, the trunk lid, which I mentioned before, and done it in a couple other videos, but they they shaved the, the, the um, keyhole, which I liked. Um... I did the the hinges are off convertible to get rid of the, the tension rods. Well, I didn't notice this, and I put it in another video, but if you didn't see any of the old ones, you wouldn't know. I, you see these things up here? Well, I thought it was, a, I just happened to like be working on the car, not thinking about it. I thought it was a mud wasp nest. So I went up there and flicked it. Well, I flicked this one, and look what happened. I got a hole. So, there used to be a spoiler on this car. So, now I either have to weld these holes up, and then redo the, you know, repaint the, the trunk lid, which I'm okay with, but, or put another spoiler on the car, and I keep going back and forth. I like little lip spoilers, just a little tiny lip spoiler in the back. That won't solve my problem. The, I think this might have had, and someone else may know more than I would, but I'm assuming it had the, um, like, Cobra. Is that what they call it? Because there's no other holes. So it couldn't be, the con like, off a, a convertible because those have bars that run down so it's got four holes and the, the cobra one goes up over and down and then it has two things that like two uh pillars that come down and then either a blank or the third brake light so i'm assuming that that's what was here and if i can find one for a good price then I'm gonna probably do that temper even if I if I even if I change it later. But someone locally had that um, on a car, but I've been dumping so much money into this car that I said I'm gonna wait. And I just messaged the guy last night, and he's like, "Yeah, I sold that." He had side skirts, a cow hood, and a and the uh, spoiler. It's like it's all gone. So, but if I can get the car back together and we can get up to. There's other, there's people that in, live in Pennsylvania that hoard Mustang parts, so I can find whatever I want, or I'll just order brand new stuff or whatever, but, so, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll update on another vi next video when we get the doors back on. I'm actually going to have to get some help for that, so... We'll see how that goes. Thanks again. Have a good week.